So very good afternoon to you all. Likely many of you have a tablet, and if so, presumably you would like to be able to take it with you everywhere. Although it's easier than carrying a laptop, it can't fit in your pocket or many small purses. Because of these, many others prefer to have larger cell phones instead of tablets. But these are still too big to put in many pockets, and if the device is too big, you can't grip it comfortably in one hand, you are more likely to drop it and break it. And there is nothing worse than seeing your cell phone on the floor with shattered screen. Considering all those problems, have you ever thought about what it would be like to have a foldable cell phone or tablet? Being able to fold your cell phone or your tablet easily, like a piece of paper, without worrying about its touch screen and all its electronic components? You may think it's purely imagination. But it's not. Here at the University of Waterloo, we are trying to make it possible using the miracle material of the 21st century, graphene, and one of the most advanced manufacturing techniques, 3D printing. To have a foldable touch screen, we need a bendable platform with some non-brittle and flexible electronic components on it. Graphene is an ideal material for these flexible electronic components. Let's see why. Graphene, discovered in 2004, is a two-dimensional material made up of sheets of carbon atoms. This astonishing newborn material is super strong. To give you perspective, it said that it would take an elephant balanced on a pencil to break through a sheet of graphene with a thickness of saran wrap. Graphene is also super flexible, stretching like rubber. Super conductive, conducts electricity better than any copper wire. It's transparent and lightweight. So it has a combination of all the unique properties that make it an ideal candidate for flexible electronic components. My PhD thesis has focused on combining the advantages of graphene and 3D printing system to make such a flexible circuits. After producing graphene from graphite in the lab, I was able to make a highly concentrated graphene ink compatible with our 3D printing system, and I have printed the thinnest graphene patterns in a layer-by-layer -layer fashion on different kinds of substrates, including flexible substrates. And I'm currently testing electrical and mechanical properties of these flexible circuits. This was the first step towards next generation cell phones and gadgets that can be folded, rolled, or even crumpled up without cracking the screen. And I'm so excited to continue working on it until its commercialization. Thank you.